If you want to get always on a display on a Redmi 15, then we can download an app that provides always on a display. So we're going to go to the Play Store and then we can search for these apps. You can, for example, write always on display and then try to find an app. But in my case, I'm just going to type Movies Edge, which is an example app that has this feature. And I'm going to install it and I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to uh, set up the always on display, how to customize it a little bit. Now, feel free to try any other app, of course. I'm not really um, trying to convince you to get this one specifically, uh, but I'm going to show you based on this example how to get always on display. So once we open this app, we need to grant permissions. So we're going to tap over here where we have draw over apps. Let's wait for the next screen. And after that, we're going to go to, to the Movies Edge app over here. And we need to allow display over other apps. And let's go back. All right. And after that, we're going to switch to AOD. And over here, you should be able to find a bunch of different AODs. Some of them are premium. Some customization options are also, also premium. So let's say I'm going to choose this one. And if you go to edit, you might be able to find some customization options. However, I believe most of them are actually not for free, unfortunately. So uh, you might not be able to save these changes. Now, if you like this AOD style, then we can just press apply and there we go. So we're going to go back now because that's actually not all. Because besides that, we can also go to settings and we can customize some AOD settings over here by going to always on display. First, make sure that this one is enabled. Then we can go to permission, the required permissions, go to other permissions, and we need to enable show on lock screen, set to always allow, and also over here, open new windows while running in the background and press always allow. We're going to go back. Now here we can choose when uh, AOD should be shown. It can be always, only while charging, or when music is being played. There's also brightness, timeout, and so on and so forth. Uh, but what you can do is, for example, change close on to single tap instead of double tap. And over here, there's also close on fingerprint, which also says that should not be enabled for in display sensors. In our case, we have a button sensor, so we can just enable it because uh, it doesn't matter. All right. And yeah, so now we're going to go back. And if we if we close, if we turn off the screen, as you can see, we have our always on display. In order to proceed to the lock screen, we have to stop once like this. And of course, uh, if you didn't go through settings, then you will have to double tap instead. So that's pretty much it. Of course, uh, remember that these features usually also use uh, a little bit of battery. They consume the, there is increased power consumption. Uh, so you might notice uh, faster battery draining with this uh, app. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe.